Alright guys, I'm Simitos Kenna. Welcome back to Dongan Ropper 2 in the last episode, man! Chiaki was a traitor and we sent her to her death. And now things have gotten super freaking weird. And uh yeah. So Yeah. Let's just the whole world's been destroyed and people have been coming back from the dead and there's this farty noise, but so let's just go. It'd be wrong to say it was swaying from side to side. It was actually shaking rather intensely. The room I was in, it was shaking from side to side. It was shaking quite irregularly. Just when you thought it was a series of small shakes, it would suddenly shake violently. And every time that happened, I'd have to steady myself with my foot. I couldn't stand up very well, but for me, it was comforting. I never thought not knowing what to expect would be so fun, so I was feeling rather excited. But I figured I'd get bored of that feeling soon enough. But that's what I was expecting. For me, a person who lo is loved by talent, detecting irregularities irregu among irregularities won't be that difficult. Eh, yeah, how boring. Do you like ships? On the other side of the dark room, I heard a voice. Nagito, what are you doing here? Huh? It was clearly directed at me. Ha! <laughs> you look like you were having fun, so that's what I assumed. You do like ships, right? Ships? Oh, that's right, so this is it. So this is a ship. Uh, you just realized that now? Is it really that funny? Hey, if you want to, if you, wait, hey, if you want, care to talk a little, the silence is starting to bore me. So I find irregular stuff. Am I from the first game now? Kyoko? Instantly I saw his true character. The overfamiliar attitude and friendly smile. But underneath that thin skin I could detect a foul offensive odor, like some kind of putrid slime. In a sensible way, of course. How should I put this? It was a smell exclusive to those who were already finished. Nice to meet you. I'm Nagato Kamita. Anyway, lucky me. It's been a while since anyone was willing to talk to me. So, to share a room with a person like that. Yep, I'm definitely lucky. Lucky? So, that's your talent then. Okay, I'm not Kyoko then. What a boring talent. A boring talent, huh? No, well, that's exactly what it is. For someone I'm meeting for the first time to say that so suddenly. That's because I have luck as well. Huh? Even I possess a talent as boring as luck. Possess, huh? I'm starting to get really interested. Who are you? You're obviously from Hoke's Peak Academy too, right? So you're one of us? I wish this creaking noise would stop. I think it's just trying to mess with me though at this point. Oh, that's weird. This is the first time I've ever seen you. Hey, can you tell me why you're here? How did you end up here? How boring. Uh, sorry. I'm often told I'm terrible at making conversation. Not you. This world. Huh? This world is full of boring people. People who lack talent stick together and oppress those who possess talent. Even though they know they're insignificant, they don't try to acknowledge their true superiors. They are profoundly desperate to drag them down to their level. And because of these bastards, this world has come to a deadlock. That world has stopped moving. This world has stopped moving. How boring. Well, the world is shaped by the will of the majority. It makes sense that it bends to those who lack talent. That's why we're in our present situation. Uh, perhaps, does that have anything to do with the reason you're here? Boring people make no contributions to this world. Not even a speck of dust. That's why my teachers, that's what my teachers, that's why my teachers taught me that a certain degree of selection must be performed. Looks like they had high expectations for you, huh? That's completely different from me. But why, what are you planning to do? Now that you ended up like this, there's nothing you can do, right? Listen well. Using people is a talent too. It's not, it's now my turn to use that person just as they used me in the past. That person. Are you talking about ultimate despair? But how? I mean, they're already... I have it with me. The contribution to that, per that person left me, even now it rests in my pocket. I don't know what you're talking about. 
<laughs> I'm definitely lucky. I can't believe I'm speaking with someone as amazing as you. Then, will I be able to see her again? Oh god! No, you're obsessed with- you got some nice fingernails. Is that why your hair's like that too? Thought so. Will I be able to see that person I hate with every fiber of my being again? And this time... Will I be able to kill her this time? That person I hate so much? Hate? Then explain your hand. Ah, uh, this? The end of that bandage is a woman's hand, right? <laughs> Isn't it amazing? I can't move, of course. I mean, it's not my hand after all. But even now, it still hasn't rotted. Hey, maybe that means it's becoming one with me. Isn't it amazing? I have successfully become one with the ultimate despair, my sworn enemy. I see, so you salvaged the body. You really are a boring person. I don't want you to misunderstand. I just see her as my enemy, you know? Because she's my sworn enemy, because I hate her so much. That's why I took her power. And for that, I... Wait, huh? Do I hate her? Huh. That's strange. Huh? <laughs> I look out the window, we're finally here. You're starting to see it too, right? That's Jabberwock Island, isn't it? Isn't it exciting? I wonder what's going to happen on that island once we get there. What's going to happen? I can already predict what will happen. Huh? I already know because I'm loved by the talent. But no matter what happens, it's no concern to me. I will not be able to participate in what lies ahead. Really? I don't really understand, but I guess we have to part ways for a while. That's disappointing. We seem to get along pretty well. Hey, can I see you again? There's no reason we'll ever meet again. After all, you're boring. Your talent, your thoughts, your ex entire existence is boring to me. You really don't play along, do you? Huh? What is this? It's a door. There's a door from the beginning of the game. Huh, a door? Why is a door here? Where am I? How did I get here? Where am I supposed to go? Huh, Soap Speak Academy. Huh? Isn't this a classroom? But even so, it's a very strange classroom. Why am I in a place like this? I went inside the ancient room with everyone else. And I arrived at a place that looked like a trial ground, but then... Why? It's not connecting. I don't know why I'm here. It's like there's no connection between how I left the trial ground and how I ended up here. It's just like before, when we were all gathered in that classroom just before we arrived at Jabberwock Island. But where is this place? Is it somewhere on Jabberwock Island? A violin, it says on the side. Ahem, ahem, testing, testing. Mic check, one, two. This is a test of the school broadcast system. Am I on? Can everyone hear me? Okay, well then. Welcome to Hope Speak Academy, you guys. At this point, I shall explain the graduation exam to you all. So please assemble at the gymnasium immediately. Huh. <laughs> he even said, huh. Did, did he say what I think he just said? He definitely said it. He said, welcome to Host Peak Academy. But why would this place be Hope's Peak Academy? Not just that. What is the graduation exam? Isn't the killing game over already? Isn't the killing over already? Oh, the iron plates are back too. 
What's this? Normal classroom? There's an iron plate bolted here. I'm gonna tr try to knock it on my fist. It's a pretty thick iron plate. What the heck? This is Old Ho Speak Academy. Yep, yep, yep. You leave here? Yeah. Old building, first floor. Hey, it's the old school. Even the hallway doesn't feel like a school. What a creepy place. At least, it doesn't look like a normal school at all. It's definitely a lie. There's no way this place is Hope's Peak Academy. Is this creepy place the Hope's Peak Academy that I've admired for so long? It's probably a building that Monokuma made to startle us, just like the fun house. That's right, that's definitely it. Monokuma said to come to the gymnasium, right? Then I'll go. It'll definitely clear things up. All right. Oh, yeah. So all these can't go any of these directions. It's just like, nope. Can't go that way. Thought maybe it made like a pixel face or something, but I don't think it does. Or does it? Nah. This was the old, the old trawl ground right there. This is the, this I was in the last game. Door. Exit. I can't even go that way. I can't go to the gymnasium. Nurse. Bathrooms. Hmm. Yep. That's neat. Time is unknown. The gymnasium is here, right? Going inside, something might be waiting, but I'm gonna, I'm not gonna cower away anymore, and so I brace myself and cautiously open the door. And teleported through. Chapter 6. This is the end. Goodbye, Academy of Despair. Hmm. I wasn't prepared for what's waiting for me on the other side of that door. Oh, I didn't go through the trophy room. It was a normal gymnasium. Damn right. Yo, yo, Hajime. Yo. You heard that announcement and came here too. You guys did too, right? What's going on? Hey, what do you make of all this? Monokuma said this place was Host Peak Academy or something. That is. That, that can't be possible. Well, You're yeah. right. Anyway, anyway, look at it. It's impossible. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> How does it feel to return to a long-awaited Host Peak Academy? Why, you. 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 Hey, where are we? Where'd you lock us up this time? Uh, that's... What a shock. I just told you guys this is Host Peak Academy. Of course not. There's no way in hell that's true. No, no. Oh, but it is. I mean, this is definitely Host Peak Academy. Well, what's left of it anyway? What's left of it? What? Didn't I tell you before? Unfortunately, Hope Peak Academy fell to ruin. Lies. You were serious about that? I don't believe it. But of course it fell to ruin. I mean, they were doing things that they deserved to be ruined for. What do you mean? I don't like this. Anyway, it's, I'm pretty disappointed. I went through all this trouble to bring you to Hope's Peak Academy. You don't feel surprised or nostalgic. Fine, fine. Oh, well, it's not like I did this for you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you don't feel nostalgic, I'm sure someone is feeling nostalgic right now. Hear me? Don't be talking to me like that. Someone? Don't fuck with me! Enough of this bullshit! Just spit it out already! Where'd you take us, you bastard? Um... Though, I am not certain of my memories. I believe we entered an a the ancient ruin and... In other words... It means... I made this Hope Speak Academy between the door to that ruin and the inside of the ruin! <sighs> what do you mean, between? Hey, hey, hey! What do you mean, you made? What's this? Oh my, your mind's getting the grumbles... <laughs> the grumblies? That only knowledge can satisfy? <laughs> good, very good. It's fine to hurry along the graduation exam, but it's my nature to provide a little entertainment. 
Entertainment, you're planning to make us do something, aren't you? No way! It's nothing to be cautious about. It's not like you'll be making life exchanges or anything like that. Ching! It's just a simple graduation exam. Huh? Then what is the graduation exam? Hey, um... Well, as the headmaster, I'm conflicted, you know? On one hand, I'm really happy that you finally are going to graduate. Are you sure about but on the other this? hand, I'm worried about whether you guys should be okay in the outside world. So... That's why I'm thinking about telling you what the outside world is like before you make your decision. Whether you want to leave Jabberwock Island or stay here. Huh? Why? We're obviously going to get out. There's no way we'd stay here. That's right. This is annoying. Just hurry up and let us choose. Let us choose right now. No, no, no. You can't do that. The main cast hasn't arrived yet. Um... Main cast. Hey, um... Meaning you guys are just extras until the guest of honor arrives. So enough complaining already. Hurry up and start researching the outside world. What do you mean? Uh-huh. I have dispersed all the teaching materials you need for your research through Hose Peak Academy. Well, I don't know. I don't think this needs to be said, but... <laughs> all the information is accurate and contains no lies whatsoever. Otherwise, the main cast is going to hate me. <laughs> so please rest assured and strive to do your best during your field trip. As usual, after leaving us with this cryptic words, Monokuma disappeared. Even if the setting had changed, even the killing was finished, he was still the same as usual. Um. Hmm. Somehow I have a bad feeling about this. Hey, hey! Like he kept insisting this place is Hostpeak Academy. Mm. But that's, Im that's impossible, right? What are you saying? How do we make it back to Hostpeak Academy on this from a tropical island in the first place? It's impossible! It cannot be! There's no place for hoops. hoops he can, blah, 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 blah. There's no. There's no place it could. It could <laughs> be right. I said I wanted to go back, but I don't want to go back to a creepy place like this. What does this mean? So many things I understand have happened on this island. This building is really Hope's Peak Academy. Hmm. This is the Hope's Peak Academy I've been admiring for so long. What in the world is going on? Damn it. Why is this happening? Why? I was finally able to attend Hope Speak Academy. I finally thought I'd become confident in myself. Even so, I... Uh, wanted to become a Hope? If that's what you're thinking, just stop it. Listen carefully. The only human worthy, her, humans worthy of becoming Hope possess amazing talents and a strong will. In the moment you're born of this world, you either have that or you don't. It has nothing to do with effort. You must can be chosen by the world to become hope. That's why it's not even worth admiring. Or were you so blinded by your admiration for Hope Speak Academy that you couldn't even see that? You're just some nobody from the research course who never had a talent to begin with. And nobody who forgot he was a nobody. That's all. If I really am a nobody, then you should have just left me alone. Why do I have to go through something like this? Um. Hajime, did something happen? Huh? Hey, bastard! Now's not the time to zone out! <clears throat> Sorry, it's nothing. Um... I don't really get it, but... Is that all? I'm gonna do it! As long as we don't beat the... As long as I don't beat the crap out of Monokuma, nothing's gonna be solved. Is that what it means? Hey! So what the heck is Monokuma anyway? He's not part of the Future Foundation, right? Um... If you say that, then what is the Future Foundation? Jeez... Even though Chiaki and Monomi are gone, our situation hasn't changed one bit, which means the Future Foundation wasn't our enemy. That's the only thing I can think of. You serious? So they're not World Ender? Then we really were tricked by Monokuma. However... However, the Future Foundation is responsible for trapping us on this island, right? Regarding that matter, I believe Monomi never once denied that. Damn it. Even if there are allies, they might just... They might not just be allies. Maybe Monokuma is telling us to investigate that information on her own. Shaki said she could not betray the Future Foundation. But if she were still alive, she definitely would have helped us. Now, even her just being with us would have been a big help. Hmm. So what do we do? Damn it. Well, it's obvious. We're going to get out of here safely. We have to do that graduation exam, right? So annoying. Graduation exam, huh? I'm not really good at taking exams. Huh. Well, I guess I better... It's better than people dying. Jeez. Monokuma said something about the, a field trip, right? If he's telling us to investigate like we have been... All right! I'm gonna do it! Prepare yourself! <laughs> like... Yeah, we might be able to learn something about Hope's Peak Academy. About ourselves. Uh, I don't care if we don't know anymore. If we can just get back to our normal lives, I'm fine. Hey! hey 
Can we go home when this is over, right? No, can we finally get off this damn island, right? Hm. If that's the case, let's all leave this island alive by any means. Of course! Hell yes! He's right. Now's not the time to bemoan how unlucky I am. Where this place really is, what Hope's Peak... What happened to Hope's Peak Academy. None of that matters. What's important is we need to leave this island with the others. We sacrificed so many lives in order to survive just so we could do that. There's no way we can stop now. But... Manakuma should already know that that's what we're thinking. So why do he say that? We have to decide on our own whether or not we want to leave Jabberwock Island. You should already know what, that we'd never choose to stay on this island. Hey, hey! So what are we gonna do? Can we start already? Hmm. But what are we even looking for? Do we just have to investigate that weird-ass building? This weird-ass building? So. I don't think we'll find the answers to all of our questions inside this damn building. <laughs> well, I'll just go on ahead for now. Whoa. Hey, you're already going? Jeez. Well, this is the idiot thinking running home without being cautious. Man. She's obviously thinking, I wish I could just go ahead and investigate. Shut up. However. Shut oh, up. We should do our best. It's not scary if everyone stops at the green light. Oh. If we're stopped at the green light, we'll never reach our goal. Jeez. You're pathetic. Yep. Huh. All right, there's no more killing. We have to worry about betraying <laughs> us anymore. Let's get over this later. and go home. I'll go on ahead. See you guys later. Those brief words for Yoko left the gymnasium. Excuse me. I should do my best to obtain a wonderful clue that will be useful to everyone. Now then, please excuse me. Finally took a bow and left the oh gymnasium. My. Miss Sonia. Miss Sonia. Please don't leave me. I'll be in danger if I'm left alone. She chased after he chased after Sonia who just departed and left the gymnasium. I should hurry to start too. Just a bit more. Just a bit more and it's going to end. I can escape this nightmare and return to my usual peaceful everyday life. The only thing to do in advance is that is hope, even though I don't understand and that... Uh, shut up! Shut up! Jesus! <laughs> hey, Malakuma. Hey! I knew you could do it! I can still find little things. Whew, man. So much, so much useless talking in this game sometimes. Just really, just really gets on my nerves. Whew, leave here, okay. What? How'd I get here? Huh? That's weird. This is the whole way I walk through the gymnasium, but it's clearly different. Is this Monokuma's doing? Is he trying to confuse us again? I don't know how he's doing it, but he keeps doing it over and over again. He's so persistent. But I'm not gonna fall for his trap, there's no way he'll make me back down. I gotta move forward because my eyes are on the front of my head and blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I can't actually investigate the school like normal. I gotta walk around. Hey, what's up, girl? Um. This hallway, there's a strange feel to it, no? As if an invisible wall has been erected to limit our movement. I am concerned. Is it just me? Yes, it's just you. We're, we're not all crazy or anything. So there's, I should use my mouse. I can move a lot faster with it. There we go. There was a, was this the room that had all the death and murder in it in the first game? I think so. That looks spooky. But it's locked. Right, is it? Biolab. Roar. Yep. Show it is. Show it is. Go to the dojo. The dojo. Hey, there's a book on the ground. Is this a dojo? It's full of strange things that make me think there's no way we're inside a school. Perhaps it's a mistake to expect the inside of this building to make sense. Level up! I want to look inside here. Is there, are there clues? There's a bunch of wooden lockers here. Each of them has a traditional looking... I guess they're just for show. There's nothing in particular that looks like a clue. Alright, this is the floor here. Hey, what is this? It's a manga? The title is... Manga for Morons, A History of Host Peak Academy by Monokuma. Why is a manga with such a suspicious looking title laying in the open like this? <laughs> Let's start with history first, class! Hey, um... Reading manga is the third best way to learn about history. <laughs> That's what what's first, you ask? <laughs> that depends on the person! So just as I thought, Monokuma made this. That totally explains how suspicious it looks. 
Let me just ignore it, but there's no way I can do that. Fire, look at it! Just hurry up. Stop talking about it so much. I picked up the long of the floor and started flipping through the pages. It's an introduction to Hope Speak Academy history and narrative by the cutesy character on the cover. The story begins with the introduction of Hope Speak Academy. Hope Speak Academy is a government-funded school of privilege where only the most talented high school students can, uh, can hope to attend. Built to raise hope in the nation's future, many of its alumni are key leaders in various industries. New students are chosen throughout the scouting process, but only ones who scout them are Hope Speak Academy's teachers who serve as both educators and researchers of talent. Hope Speak isn't the only school for talent, it's also a school for researching talent as well. However, for the past few years, Hope Speak Academy has been suffering from a decline in funding. Uh, if this persists, the Academy believes they will not be able to make progress the research of talent. So they decide to implement a new system. The Reserve Department. Unlike the main department who scouts for students, the Reserve Department utilizes a general exa entrance exam. Normal faculty is hired and placed in charge of looking after the Reserve Department. The expenses and exam fees of the Reserve Department are quite high compared to most high schools. Nevertheless, Hope Speak Academy received an endless stream of applicants. Hope Speak Academy is now available to talentless commoners, people who only cared about the brand. With this, Hope Speak, Hope Speak Academy managed to amass sizable funds and began further research of talent. To create Hope Speak Academy research wish, a true genius who would become mankind's hope. But just when they thought everything was going well, an unprecedented incident occurred. Oh, God dang it. What was it? What did it say? And I like, uh, let's see, going well, the incident that triggered the tragedy, the biggest, most awful tragic event in human history, that's right, it was the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy. Yeah. Hope Speak Academy was crippled by this incident and was forced to shut down without accomplishing anything. The end. Huh? The ending was so sudden, like a manga that suddenly canceled in the middle of his run. Plus, these phrases mentioned at the end of the, this manga. The tragedy, the tragedy of Hope Speak Academy. These names are so melodramatic. There's no way this has really happened, right? This manga only mentions the names, so I don't really know the details, but no, it'd just be a waste of time to wonder about things that don't make sense. More importantly, I learned something because of this manga. The Reserve Department. That department was built to collect money. I was one of those Reserve Corps students, right? But hold on. Hmm, that's weird. Oh, you're here again. Ah, the thing that's weird is you, of course. Huh? Hey! Why did you forget that you were part of the Reserve Department? The Future Foundation only took away your school life memories, right? But you should have known even before you entered that you had no talent, right? So, I think it's weird that you actually forgot something like that, too. Now, what do you want me to say? By the way... Hmm, based on my assumption... The Future Foundation must have wanted to hide the fact that you were one of those Reserve Corps students. I got it! Or are you willingly sealed those memories yourself? <laughs> you wanted to be confident in yourself, so you wanted to forget everything that embarrassed you. You know, when humans experience trauma, sometimes they erase their memory of what happened. <laughs> it happens pretty often. Not that I know anything about that, though. Are you saying it's my fault I forgot? That's not it. Come on! When things get inconvenient, you always get angry and try to brush it off. Well, that's expected of a Reserve Corps student. Damn it, what the heck? Reserve Depart- a truth bullet? Classroom 5A. Oh, there's another, another uh, manga here. Are there any Monokumas hiding in the ceiling or anything? You know, just, I don't know why we even need to collect them anymore, but, you know, whatever. Another manga. It's laying on the desk. This one is... Manga for Morons, A Tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. Uh, I mentioned the other manga, too. Why is Hope's Peak Academy went bankrupt and it was the trigger for the biggest, most tragic, most awful event in human history? I'll be able to learn a little more about the incident. Is that the, uh, the headmaster? Sort of like him, maybe. Maybe for morons. I took the manga from the desk and started flipping through the pages to see what I could learn about the event known as the tragedy of Hosting Academy. The story made heavy use of outdated stylized drawings depicting characters solving mysteries. What's written here is the name suggested the tragedy of Hosting Academy occurred at Hosting Academy. Key player in that event was Izuru Kamukara. Who was the headmaster, right? No. No, 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 no. That's not the headmaster. Azari was a genius known as a symbol of hope. Hope Speak Academy used all the resources to develop him. 
Zero? I don't know about that. Supposedly, Azuru is a genius among geniuses and possessed various talents, wielding superior talent for the hope of mankind. The Academy referred to Azuru as the ultimate hope. To protect such rare talent, the Academy completely concealed all evidence of Azuru's origins and identity. So it's not Makoto? Because of that, most of the students at the Academy were completely unaware of Azuru's existence. But Azuru who was known as a symbol of hope, was responsible for a horrible incident. 13 students of Hope Speak Academy Student Council, among the Academy's best and brightest, were brutally murdered by Azuru. However, the incident did not end there. The Academy tried to protect Azuru's superior talent and concealed the incident as long as it, as though it never happened. However, a certain student began to work in secret to use that incident to their advantage. That student uncovered what the Academy did, and by making that knowledge public, it stoked the fires of the Reserve Corps students who had long been dissatisfied with how they'd been treated. Hmm. And the, uprise be the uprising began. And that herald heralded Hope Peaks Academy destruction. This is the entire tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy. Eventually that incident would lead to that horrifying, devastated incident. The incident that would be known as the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. We're excited, Danganronpa Zero. Isn't that a game? Isn't that an actual game? Is it? With a heavy sigh, I closed the manga. Am I supposed to believe this? There's no way 13 people were killed at Hope's Peak Academy. <laughs> what irony! For a genius knows the ultimate hope, to cause such a gruesome incident, a tale like that is too regal for society. It's like trying to buy juice with a g bar of gold. Yeah. You should be lucky that you're incompetent! Damn it, he's always has to lead, lead up something offensive. He seriously pisses me off. But ultimate hope. Nagito mentioned that before too, but it looks like it means something completely different here. What Nagito said was the true meaning of hope. But for Azuru, hope simply means talent. More importantly, a genius who possesses various talents. I wish they'd given me one of those talents so I didn't have to be in the reserve department. That's right, the reserve department. Here it said the Reserve Corps students in the Reserve Department began uprising. And what about me? Was I a participant too? That's not possible. There's no way I have a reason to do something like that. Okay. <sighs> kind of said, was it? We just read about it, okay? Why do I have to answer the questions I just read? <laughs> Messed up. Uh, raising more questions. The mystery just keeps piling up. Ooh, spooky. Of this room is freaking cold in here. It's like a freezer or something. If I'm just standing, I might end up freezing to death. I'm sure, if investigate, so I can get out of here already. There's the tarps that were used in the first game. Hey, a monocle was under the desk. What are you doing under there? Uh, I've been found. It looks like there's no bodies inside the, uh, the refrigerator. There's another manga that's lying here. This time the title is Manga the Biggest, Most Awful Event. I knew it. The next one obviously be about the event. Just what is that incident really about? Flip through the pages. <laughs> She's so scared. A story about creepily drawn characters who get involved in such horrifying incidents. The incident uh, the, is drawn the grotesque because the incident itself is that grotesque? Anyway, the beginning of this creepy manga starts with this sentence. The tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy was simply the trigger. At first, the uprising by the reserve course students that triggered the tragedy of Hope's Peak Academy was initially hoped to be resolved quickly, but the situation continued to escalate to dangerous extremes. The movement started spreading all over the internet and fo fostered a thriving online community. The community was not limited to students, and people of various races and nations began joining in. But the movement was not confined to the internet, it began spreading and eroding the real world. When the movement started, it was indistinguishably, it's indistinguishable from any other de demonstration of inspired by social unrest. But as it spread across the world, it's certain abnormalities soon came to light. But then it was too late. The ends and the means had vanished. The wanton destruction became their only goal. The strong butchered the weak. The weak killed the weakest among them. 
and soon the weak form factions so brutally and to brutally murder the strong. As the violence and death continued to spread, the shock of their actions began to disappear, as if the era was regressed to more uncivilized times when senseless deaths were the norm. The media was oversaturated with deaths to the point where people would watch them while enjoying a meal. By the time the world realized what it had become, it was too late to stop what had happened. A feeling of immense despair began spreading and eventually engulfed the world. Acts of terrorism, some coups began occurring around the world, a war wage in the name of despair, a war fought not for principles, religion, or personal gain, just war. Pure war. And because of that, there's no way to resolve it. How could a movement started by a high school student progress to such hopeless scenario? The only explanation is the existence of a certain organization devoted to a certain student who influenced Hope's Peak Academy, a group called Ultimate Despair. Instead of using Hope's Peak Academy's talents for the sake of mankind's hope, they use them for the sake of mankind's despair. Key members of society use their influence to brainwash the masses in order to spread despair. Tech-savvy computer cram programmers wrote software to spread despair. The powerful and influential created new values and morals to spread despair. And with this, they created the tragedy, the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. As long as the ultimate despair exists, the despair engulfing the world will never end. The tragedy will never end. My heart was racing in my chest, but my body felt ice cold. And it wasn't because I was freezing in this room. Ooh. The event. I'm just going to call it the event because I'm tired of reading that whole thing. This is definitely all made up. I mean, if this really is true, then what happened to the outside world? My family, my friends, the convenience store I frequent, the nearby bookstore, my favorite restaurant. What happened to them? No way! Hey, are you seriously yelling at a manga? How crazy are you? Who would enjoy reading something like this? Oh, oh my, you don't like manga? Ooh. A high school student who doesn't like manga is like a fit office lady who doesn't like to eat candy. Enough. What's, what is this messed up manga? <laughs> I thought you'd obviously know su about such a horrible event that destroyed the world, but for you not to remember that, such despair. That's the future foundation's fault though, thanks to them stealing your school memories. The incident that happened during that period has been completely removed from your brains. This is it really happened, and I actually forgot about it? There's no way that's possible. How many times do I have to tell you all the clues here are real? Please understand I'm rooting for you. If you don't learn about the full extent of the outside world, you guys will suffer for it. I just want to help you guys so you can live well-adjusted lives in the outside world. Let's see, so that's how it is. That's what he meant by what he said at the beginning. More flashbacks. I'm conflicted. Blah, 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 blah. We already read that, okay? He's trying to make us feel despair towards the outside world, so we want to stay on this island. There's no way I'm going to do what he wants. Despair like that simply can't exist. Perhaps... No, that's definitely it. Whatever. Uh, what is the ultimate despair? They devote to a certain group. They connect to the tragedy and the tragedy peaks of plus organization is just one person, but a group of people, if they were known as the ultimate despair, the high school student was right, but if they were actually able to do it, then I guess they were to call the ultimate. Uh. Okay, let's leave. I mean, sorry, I'm getting aggravated about how much is starting to drag out. It's like, yeah, there's a bunch of questions, but asking the questions again isn't going to get us anywhere. Where should I go next? All right, let's slowly turn around and go to where? Not that room. Oh, the second, second room. <laughs> no, I should just ignore it. I'm just gonna pretend I didn't see him. Jeez. I went inside this room, that bastard bear was suddenly here. He keeps glancing at me. I wonder why. Hmm. <laughs> it's gonna be shitty either way. Damn right. So I'll let you handle it. There's no way I'm gonna deal with that idiot. I don't wanna do it either. Uh, fine. What do you want, Monokuma? I would like to do it, but I guess I have to talk to Monokuma. What? I, I, I just did! Hiya. Why, hello, 
Hajime, I hope you're doing pleasantly well. Are you pleasantly well? You're pleasantly well, right? What are you doing here? No, no. Oh, well, there's another thing I need to tell you on this floor. I got bored of drawing manga. Can you forgive me for telling you by word of mouth? You should have that from the beginning. I don't want to read your manga in the first place. A high school student who doesn't like manga is like a sumo wrestler who doesn't like to eat hot pots. I'm getting really fed up with your babbling. Hurry up and what did you need to tell me? <laughs> it's about that piece of information you've been waiting so long for. Surprise, it's about ultimate despair. Huh? Do I have to ask more questions about what you mean by that? Hmm. Okay, good, thank God. Even though the term ultimate despair refers to a group these days, Actually. it was originally the title of, for a high school girl who was the most powerful, evil, and fierce person alive. Yes, indeed. Lady Junko Inoshima. Junko. Hey, um. As the former ultimate despair, she created despair brimmed with charm and humor and created the ultimate despairs. <laughs> There was only, there was one really horrible person in that group. Don't fuck with me. I don't know about what ultimate despairs are, but it's that easy to form an organization. <sighs> Just shut up. There's no way people would join some fucked up organization created by a high school girl. Unbelievable. Humans who are obsessed with their philosophy have an uncanny power to attract others. It's a trait shared by many famous leaders throughout history, right? There's nothing strange about it. Hey, um... And that holds true for Lady Junko. It's cause she was so hot, right? With her char charismatic ability to attract people, she even influenced those of the highest Elkons of power. Her connections were the main reason that incident became the tragedy in the first place. So she even recruited people who would have been in a position to neutralize the threat. Huh? Then what was their purpose? Huh? What? Like, like I said, why do they cause that incident if it doesn't, it doesn't even make sense? They had a purpose, right? There's no way they'd do that without any purpose. Hey, um... It was Junko Inoshima's despair. For Junko Inoshima, despair is not purpose or set principles, a way of life or instinct. Despair is what defines Junko as Junko. What are you saying? <laughs> I'm a stuffed plushie. Hujami is a, hu Hujami is a human. It's exactly like that. <laughs> Junko is full of full of so much despair, she's truly hopeless. Living, dying, eating, loving, for her, everything is despair. Hmm. With her overwhelming force of personality, Junko recruited the ultimate despairs one by one. She controlled their despair by taking advantage of their love, hate, grudges, anything really. Junko's despair is far more dreadful than any other. The idea has been slammed right into their minds. I got it, she's the ultimate despair. <laughs> and so the ultimate despairs who had been recruited became nothing more than Junko's limbs. All despair, whether it was their own or anyone else's, was dedicated to Junko. Like believers making offerings to their god. Like a mother providing food to her children. They dedicated all despair so they could escape from despair. All in Junko's name. For example, <laughs> They killed their families and friends and even destroyed their bodies through relentless mutilation. Oh man, here we go, this is, this is some juicy stuff. And to hopelessly top it off, they completely believed it was something they had to do. There's no way something that, that crazy is possible. Do you know about the final days of the Reserve Corps students bringing the tragedy to Host Peak Academy? In other words... Junko has the power to change people's values. This is also true for famous people throughout history. Of course! They fulfilled their role as disposable limbs. They believed in what they needed to do. <laughs> and so the 2,357 students of the reserve department all committed mass suicide. Mass suicide? What'd you say? <laughs> Oops, it wasn't all of them. One person was excluded. The one person excluded, huh? Is that me? Damn it! I don't believe it. There's no way I can believe this. It doesn't scare me at all. I mean, Bastard. Junko is already dead. Huh? Ultimate spare has been added to. There she is. And reserve department has been updated. How do you know that she's already dead? 
Hey, Fuyahiko, is that true what you said? Junko was really dead? Huh? What? You didn't see? There was a book called Killing School Life in that bloody classroom. A bloody classroom? No, wait. What was that you said about the Killing School Life? Involved in killings that happened at Hope Speak Academy. As I recall, the mastermind took her own life because the remaining students worked together to defeat her. Well, yeah. That was it. The killing school life ended up failing in the end. As a result, the six students who survived the manga escaped. Hmm. Hey. For a manga about the killing school life, it was drawn out with a lot of silly images and dumb gags. According to that, the mastermind behind the failed school life was Junko. The mastermind took her own life, which means Junko is dead. I mean, it's obvious that we're inside like a computer program or a simulation or something. But why? That's the question. Like... It turns out, killing school life was part of that whole biggest, most awful incident. Junko took away the memories of the former students of Hope Academy and forced them to kill each other. Former students, and she just took away their memories, just like us. Apparently, the whole thing was being filmed by surveillance cameras and broadcast worldwide. There's a limit to being a cruel asshole. The surveillance cameras were broadcasting the whole thing? Oh. The students of Hope Speak Academy are widely known as symbols of hope. By forcing people to watch these symbols of hope kill each other for the sake of survival, they were trying to fill everyone who watched the broadcast with despair all at once. That's messed up. up. But that messed up plan was stopped. Junko failed. Junko lost the student lost the students she placed in her trap after being overcome by the despair she created. <laughs> she took her own life. And Junko is no more. <laughs> He's not saying anything. She's gonna show up. It's gonna be like they saved like just like just like freaking dude has her hand, her brain is still alive or something. No matter how horrible she was, there's no reason to fear someone who's dead. Whether Monokuma's story is true or not, doesn't matter. Bastard. Junko isn't alive anymore! Then, who's her enemy? If Junko is dead, are the rest of the ultimate despairs behind this? Are the followers of Junko carrying out a will? That's the only thing I can think of. I mean, the killings are involved or resemble a school hmm. life. Well, I don't know who the hell is imitating Junko or making us go through this, but... <laughs> An imitation is just that, an imitation! Oh shit! If the students from Hope Speak Academy had stopped the real deal, there's no way we'll lose some fake! But if this is really an imitation, are those surveillance cameras the same too? They're broadcasting somewhere. story, huh? Look, what, do you have a problem with that? Well, I really wanted you to read the manga version since I took the time to what draw it. What are you gonna do? Oh, well, I'll just raise the flag. Flag? You might raise the flag. What's gonna happen if you do that? Ooh, One step at a time, you're getting closer to killing my character roots. You're not making sense well, again. Now. I'll give you guys my all. I'll tell you everything I know, including information on the outside and the inside. Yeah I'll raise them flags like crazy. Okay. I guess I get to go to the bloody classroom now. Ooh. We're on a different floor. Huh? We changed our different hallway again. So sudden. That's gonna make something like this happen. I've already decided. I'm not gonna be surprised. Shut up. What's up, girl? Kind of twitching your nose like a bee's examining your surroundings. Hey, what happened? Based on my gut Wait, no, it's just my gut, but I feel like someone's getting closer. What do you mean, who? So, I don't know, it's just my gut after all. It's just my gut. Still, your gut's pretty impressive. For some reason, I'm strangely intuitive. And Monokuma s did say something about the main cast coming. Surprising, but her guts must be correct again this time. The Monokuma room. Oh, there we go. The music. Hey, this is where his sister died. Music room.
This looks like the music room. I feel like I can see something strange. The monument, the piano. Looks like it's some, some sort of monument. Why'd it be here? Why'd there be a monument in the music room? <sighs> Not just that, it's a mark engraved that might be the symbol of the future foundation, right? Build that symbol is a short passage engraved to combat the biggest, most awful event. We're among the many who established the future foundation. Huh, the future foundation was established by the graduates of Hope Speak Academy? Aren't they known as World Ender? This is completely different. Monokuma, he completely made it up. Future Foundation Origin. A hologram. Uh, floating in the air. It's like a hologram, right? Flowing letters. Looks like passage from an email. Regarding the report we gave you the other day, we have obtained information a person who claims to be a survivor of Hope Speak Academy. Upon further investigation, there are a total of 15 survivors. You may be wondering about the number of people this time. And their survivors of Hope's MK is possible they may be target targeted by ultimate despair. We believe we should acquire them and place them in our care as soon as possible. Though I don't believe the group can go far without Junko rallying them. In a worst case scenario, we must prevent a repeat of killing school life. Also, if they are if they are survivors of Hope's Peak Academy, we should expect them to be quite valuable to us. However, we are still investigating the details of their origins and we haven't located them either. So Junko had like backups she could torture. We will continue investigating this matter. Also regarding the separate matter, we have received a report from the research facility on Jabberwalk Island. Preparations have been completed. It seems we can proceed with the experimental phase of the Neo World program. All right. Is that about us? Excluding Chiaki was part of the Future Foundation. There's definitely 15 of us, but what does survivors mean? It's like they're talking from some other world. What happened outside Jabberwock Island? If the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history is really true, then the world isn't normal anymore. Maybe I'm starting to feel like we might be better off not remembering the memories we lost. Okay. Guess that's all the clues in this room. Uh, the Future Foundation is on our side. They were founded by the graduates of Hope's Peak Academy. They took us in to protect us. That's true, Chiaki should have made that clear to us. Now, as long as Monokuma is around, she probably couldn't say anything carelessly. Monokuma, if he's the future Foundation's enemy, then his true identity must be the ultimate despairs who cause the biggest, most awful... God dang it, stop saying that. The ones who are carrying the will of Junko are making us go through this. Also, this caught my attention in the email too. The research facility. Uh, the ancient ruin, there's no way the research facility. The research facility on this island? Somehow there's still so many mysteries. Somehow. Hey, a box. Do, 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 Teacher's Lounge. I saw something on the right over there. This feels different for a classroom. Maybe. It's probably the office, right? I mean, the room kind of has that staffy teacher vibe to it. The office, huh? Now that you mention it, it does look like that. Well. It also said office on the outside, you freaking geniuses. Uh, I haven't seen Sonya anywhere. How much longer is I going to be obsessed with Sonya? Give it up already. Yeah, I saw you. Huh? Are you serious? So serious. So for serious right now. You can go through all these flowers and get coins in the last game. <laughs> They're pixelated. Are my eyes just tired? Yes. Oh, hey. Uh-oh. Well, this is something's written on the blackboard. Large letters below that. It looks like old girl is more grown up than she was in here. Oh, Hiyoko. Names I've seen before. Ultimate Imposter <laughs> is his name. Byaki is not listed. And 
Nagi, there's Nagi too, okay. Nuclear post in the blackboard. Kyoko Asadi is written there. This is a newspaper. Hmm. What is this? This can't mean the same Hyoko, right? I mean, Hyoko, we knew... She was much smaller, looked more like a child. It was pretty much her defining feature. The photo in this newspaper, in a way I can see the resemblance to Hyoko, but her height and figure is too different. Whoa, what does this mean? Dun dun dun! This lady looks pretty mature. Is she Hyoko's older sister or something? No, it says Hyoko Sayonji here. Uh, oh, then Hyoko has an older sister with the same first name and last name. I mean... I hate... I, it's, I really hate it how I have to say the exact same thing twice, but once is a question. I mean, the only explanation, right? I mean, you look at yourself, that's not Hyoko. But did you ever hear her mention an older sister? Man. Well, it's not like I was that close to her anything. Wrong! She doesn't have an older sister. Hyoko is the... Family's only daughter. Hmm. She doesn't have a sister than a relative. No, there's still too much of a resemblance. What are you saying? That's Yoko. Of course not. What do you say? Yoko doesn't have a curvy body like this. I mean, she was famous for her childlike figure. She got away with all kinds of crap looking like that. Well, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe she had a growth spurt. She's already dead. There's no way she had a growth spurt. <laughs> Today, I'm well, feeling white. Uh, regardless, all the clues I provided are true. If they weren't, it wouldn't be fair. What's going on? What the heck? Is this the truth? Then the Hyoko of this newspaper. You look at it again. Yeah, there she is again. Is he really saying this is the same person? That's impossible. I mean, how can there be a photo of a grown-up Hyoko when she's already dead? Why does this even exist? Hey, hey. Could, could it be related to the list of subjects over there? This is bad. If it says subjects, maybe it means there's some kind of experiment, right? Did that experiment change Yoko's body? <gasps> what am I saying? Just saying that out loud makes you sound like it sound messed up. What an experiment! Some kind of experiment means that also test subjects. I mean, our names are written on the board. What kind of experiment What's was going it? On? It better not have anything to do with time travel. All right. An extremely overwhelming portrait is hanging on the wall. I feel like I've seen it before, but the name etched into it in the placard says, Izuru Kamukara. So that's the guy? Does this clearly contradict the information I obtained earlier? Another mystery. That creepy face. They added the true sex of your handbook. Okay, there's another hologram. There are letters floating in the air like the music room from earlier. Looks like the passage from the email someone wrote. I think it's the same one from earlier. I guess you should read it. We understand this matter regarding the supervisors. In order to safely acquire them, please do your best to continue your investigation. However, you must exercise extreme caution concerning the remnants of despair. Even though they have lost Junko, the fact remains that they are incredibly dangerous. Even after her death, the tragedy has not ended. Perhaps there is still a leader on par with Junko. As long as we do nothing about the remnants of despair, we will not be able to end this incident. For this reason, the remnants of despair must be immediately eliminated once they are discovered. Everything is for the sake of a shining future. Does that mean this is an order to the kill? That doesn't sound peaceful at all. If it's as terrible as it sounds, it's pretty much an all-out war. The remnants of despair are the ones waging that raging waging that war. There's no way they'd be forgiven that easily. Okay. Okay, with this, you've totally raised all the flags on this floor. Congratulations, Hajime. We should now go to the next stage. Next stage. Damn it, not again. Always different than the last time. I can see that. I guess when that flag Monokuma mentioned is raised, I moved to a different hallway than the last. 
How can you do that? Nah, not the time to be confused by that. Just thinking about it, it's wasting my energy. And, and wasting mine from reading it. Also. Okay. I guess I can't go to the physics lab. The pillars are glitching. Windows, bruh. The rec room. Oh no, this is where Sakura was dead. Oh no, Sakura. Well, at least her body's not here. <laughs> There's a billboard table in the dark room, shelf along with magazines. It's hard to think a room actually exists. I don't think it's weird that everything's floating. It's, it's not weird that everything's floating around the room. Okay, <laughs> let's look at the file. This file hosting the Academy still on it. It says confidential, that means this is a big secret, right? <laughs> okay. Why, why are you asking these questions? Just open it, Jesus Christ. About the Hope Cultivation Plan. For many years, Hope Peak Academy has conducted rig rigorous research on various talents. The Hope Cultivation Plan seeks to use the fruits of our labor to further our true goal. With our hands, we will birth a true hope that will bring hope to the entire world. Truly, the program is the next innovation in providing the ultimate ed education. This plan has been the Academy's wish since the, its foundation it must succeed at all costs. What followed is a series of detailed instructions of intricate orders. It was full of difficult technical terms. I had no idea what any of them meant. However, the word true hope left a strong impression in my mind. The Hope Cultivation Plan was created for the sake of birthing true hope. Hope Peak Academy was behind something like that? I don't really get it. There's something about these words. True hope. Alright. Fancy. How is my pet doing? She's okay. Okay. There is another hologram. This hologram again. What does this one say? It looks like another email. Regarding the report we gave you the other day, we have finally succeeded in acquiring them and placed them in our care. Though they're all dispersed, we were successful in acquiring all 15 of them. Due to the fact that we were unable to ask them about specific details, it is unknown how they managed to survive this tragedy. It's been reported that some are wounded, so it seems certain that they survived under harsh conditions. Over the course of our detailed investigation, we determined that they are the same age as the others. So we have decided to entrust them to the survivors of the killing school life. As for the remnants of despair, there are still no solid leads regarding this matter and we have no information to report. We will continue with the investigation. Once they are discovered, we shall eliminate them immediately. Everyone is for the sake, everything is for the sake of the future filled with hope. So I guess this is Byakia's organization maybe? I don't know. It says acquiring them means we've been protected by the Future Foundation. Why is this happening? If they're protecting us, why are we forced to kill each other? I guess it's not possible the Future Foundation sells us up. What's this? My, my, Hajime, if you keep worrying like that, you're gonna get a toothache and collapse! It's your fault. What's this hologram thing anyway? Hey, um... That's exactly what it looks like. They're Future Foundation emails. I thought they made a perfect clue, so I did a little bit of hacking here to get them there. You even, you can even do that? Whoever's controlling you seem to possess many talents. No, no! Well, who cares about me anyway? It's not important at all. There's no way that's not important. It's true, I do. You should connect everything to what's happening right now. Alter Ego? Um. Guess we're done here. It's upside down. Oh no! Looks like I'm in a different hallway again. Pretty much used to it by now, but even so. What is this place? Am I dreaming or something? I mean, it's totally disconnected from reality. It is a little weird. Oh God. Hey girl. How are you doing? You look normal, but then I back up. It's like blah, 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 blah. 
Oh, your boobs. It's very close. Someone's coming. Twitch your nose. They're definitely real close. My gut's telling me. Enemy or ally? Let's see, my gut feeling yeah. is they're both. Yeah. They're both. Both. Yeah. I don't know any details. It's my gut. Oh, the pool floor. Oh, where am I supposed to go? It's the library. Okay, this must be a library. Cause it said library outside. He probably left some here. I better find it. Hey, there's the old letter. Is that the letter right there? Okay, let's see here. Do, 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 yeah, you should freaking read. That's why I clicked on it. 14th Division, Makoto. Oh, Makoto! Hmm. Future Foundation, 14th Division. Where are you guys? What are you doing right now? What are you doing is a serious act of treason. Do you understand? Why are you protecting the remnants of despair? It should be abundantly clear to you how dangerous it is to keep these people alive. Stay calm and think about this carefully. You guys are being lied to. Think carefully about what's important to bring the light of hope to the world. The six of you joined the Future Foundation because you agreed with our ideals, right? The Future Foundation rescued you from the tragedy you survived, the cooperation with recovering your memories. Immediately return the remnants of despair to our headquarters. Unless we eliminate them, tragedy will never end. Everything is for the sake of the future filled with hope. Alright, so the original six characters that survived join the Future Foundation. To Makoto. He's at the Future Foundation. Why was he trying to protect the remnants of despair? Did he betray the Future Foundation? Oh, Makoto. Hmm. Interesting, interesting. Very, very interesting. Ooh. Super warp room. Oh, we're in the laundry room now, and there's Junko's old magazines. Uh, did I walk to a classroom? I don't really get it. Well, it looks like a laundry room. No use worrying about it. I was in a school, and now I'm suddenly in the laundry room. <laughs> That's perfectly normal, right? That's normal. I look at Junko's magazines. This looks like a tablet computer. It looks like the power's on, too. Picked up the tablet and looked at it. Top secret Neo World program. Seem to recall hearing it. The Neo World program has another name Psychotherapeutic Communication Simulator. The New World program is built with the most recent psychotherapy technology and administrative software. To develop the Neo World program, individuals such as the ultimate programmer, the ultimate neurologist, and the ultimate therapist. The ultimate programmer? They're dead. Were among the many talented people whose research results were utilized. Oh, research, okay. By mounting a device to the cranium, the Neo World program allows the subject to experience a synthetic virtual world, which is what we're doing right now. Additionally, the Neo World program has another feature. It can replace memories formed in the real world with information contained in the synthetic virtual world. Therefore, it's possible to undo trauma sustained in the real world through the use of the virtual world. However, this device is for psychotherapeutic purposes only. Any other use is expressly forbidden. You know, it's highly effective in treating brainwashing. Abusing the device risks total personality destruction. Thus, extreme care must be exercised when operating this program. Slowly everything around me turned black. Synthetic virtual world? Program? A feeling of emptiness like everything is being tainted. A feeling of weakness like the world's collapsing beneath my feet. 
Everything is starting to feel meaningless. The desperate attempts, the sad goodbyes, the conflicts, the trust I felt until now, all of this disappearing, uh, this us all disappearing until all I feel is despair. Ah! Scream loudly if I was confronting the sound of my own voice. There's no way I could accept this. Am I starting to accept that? There's no way something this crazy actually exists. Nice! You gotta raise the flags more in order to clear my character route. <laughs> now then, despair is waiting for you. Impossible. This is impossible. It's all made up. Everything is all made up. Including me too. I doubt my own existence now. Ah! I see you in the corner there. Looking at me. Peeking no. at me. Yeah. Give me them coins. Alright. Where do we go next? Monokuma Theater. Hey, how are you doing? Did you enjoy the killing school trip? By the way, do you guys remember the speech I made at the beginning? From this point on, I promise you a world that truly deserves to be called a game. <laughs> you guys are the only one, the only ones watching this who can save them. The end of the world is nigh. What you gonna do? What's gonna happen? Isn't it exciting? Isn't it heart throbbing? Look forward to it. <laughs> this hallway. When we first arrived here, I walked down this hallway from the classroom to get to the gym. I don't really see any resemblance, but... So much code. I mean... This door doesn't exist. Oh god, I can't even see where I'm going. Alright, there we go. Bathroom. The nurse? No, nope, can't go in there. Uh, nope. Can I go to the store? Nope. Oh, hey, girl. How are you doing? Haven't seen you in a while. Well? Are you familiar with this placebo effect and the not nocebo effect? Huh? <laughs> placebo effects in your health improves after taking fake medicine, and the nocebo is the exact opposite, which means long human brain controls the other body functions. The brain believes something is real, it'll become real. Why do you bring this up all of a sudden? Huh? Oh my! Huh? Um... I, I'm not sure, I do not fully understand! What the heck? Hmm... They're not real. Alright. Can you go in there? Oh god. Hey, buddy! <laughs> the moment you discovered that truth was a lie! All hope will disappear. <laughs> All right, let's go in the room then. Okay. It's the big object. Is this floating? That's impossible. There's no way something this big would float like this. Not, not you know. Don't worry about the freaking the pool game that we saw floating earlier. What in the world is it? In the moment I look into that object. Zero one 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 zero one zero one one zero one zero one zero one zero one zero one zero Linked. Two one. Ah! I knew it! Alter Ego, what are you doing here? As the 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 name of the song up there is even Alter Ego the New World. Alright. Spoiler. Welcome. Welcome to the Neo World program. A, a person? A floating person is talking to me? Who who is it? No, is it even a person in the first place? Uh, I'm not quite a person. I'm simply an artificial intelligence program. It would make me happy if you call me Alter Ego. That is the name my master gave me when he created me. It could talk. But what are you? Alter Ego. I am the master program behind the Neo program, the Neo world program. I am responsible for creating and overseeing this world. However, only the observer has the authority to directly, to directly influence you guys. I can't actually exert much influence. In fact, my existence is one that you don't normally meet. I'm sort of like an apartment manager or something. I oversee the entire apartment building, but I like the power to manage individual rooms. 
but the virus has infected everything I'm supposed to be managing. And because of that, this world is managing... I'm managing is acting very peculiar. Hold on. My brain can't follow what you're saying. Let me gather my thoughts. Uh, Hajime, you're such an idiot. Floating. Feel my feet are hovering above the floor. Look, I can't feel my feet on the ground. Like, I can't even believe my own existence. Hey, you should know, right? Where is this place? What is the Neo World Program? The Neo World Program has admitted the data collection procedure for shaping the entire world. As such, only the data we collected during the experimental stage is being utilized. Specifically, that means the data detailing Jabberwock Island where this research facility is located. That is why the previous Jabberwock Island cityscape was restored. Ergo, I am the answer to your question, where is this place? If I am to answer the question, where is this place? The answer would be mostly Jabberwock Island. Certainly, portions of it are different depending on the circumstances. For example, the school you're in. It appears this place is entirely under the virus's influence. That's probably why I'm appearing, bef appearing before you, too. However, even without the virus, these circumstances are a bit unnatural. It seems the launch was, r was rushed, and because of that, there wasn't enough time to collect any data. I'm sorry, I really don't know the circumstances of the outside world. After all, I'm simply the overseer of the Neo World Program. Most of its words, I understood what they meant, but I couldn't understand what was being said. There was no way for me to acknowledge this is the truth. It would make much more sense if this was a fictional world. Wait, are you saying this world is a fictional world? I feel... I feel like I can't believe what's going on here. This missing sense of reality. All the mysteries, all the truths, they're all just fiction. Is that... Even so, I need to know. I need to know what this world is. Hey, can you tell me? What was the Neo World Program used for in the first place? The Neo World Program serves only one purpose, and it's used to make the world world a splendid one. I guess you could say it's a program for creating hope. Program for creating hope. But the fact that we're here, the fact that we don't have our memories, that's all the program's fault, right? Deleting memory is the first step towards replacing memory. Placing memory data is one of its features of the Neo World program. With the installed memory control unit, it's possible to remove any time period you set it to. And from there, you should upload the memories obtained in the, the virtual world. Removing memories of any time period you set it to. So Monokuma is right. We did lose our school memories, but why? Why us? Why, why were our school memories taken away? There's a reason for that, right? That is a mystery to me, too. Booting the program on the survivors of Hope Peaks Academy while it's still in its experimental stage. I'm sure there's a very good reason. But unfortunately, I don't know what's happening on the outside world. I'm sorry. Are you saying we're lab rats? It's the only thing I can think of. It sounded like we're just lab rats. The Future Foundation did that to us? But they're trying to save the world, right? Or is the Future Foundation not our ally? I'm sorry, I can't provide that much help. If only I was more reliable. I wouldn't have lost my authority to a virus like this. All these new words make my head feel like it's about to burst. Can you tell me more about the Observer and that virus? Well, for this session, the Neo World program was programmed to house 15 people along with two monitors. Two monitors? Yeah, they were disguised as a teacher and one of the students. They were intended to guide the participants in this way. By the way, the Observer in the teacher role has been given the authority to influence you all. But the Observer in the student role was not. They weren't given any special authority at all, they'd see, so they'd seem the same as everyone else. What kind of authority does the teacher role have? As an example, the teacher creates the rules of this world and manages them. If the teacher is properly managing the rules they've created, there's no risk of abuse. So... Okay, that's Monami and Chiaki, and Monami lost her authority, which is her stick. Because of the virus infecting everything, that has changed. It changed this world where violence shouldn't have existed in the first place. The Neo World program wouldn't have prom would have uh, promised eternal peace. But just like the outside world, it's become a world filled with violence and death. Wow. Is that a virus? I don't really know the details behind its true identity, but that function is beyond my capabilities. No matter how much I try to stop it, it behaves as it already knows what I'm attempting to do. In the end, it stole the portion of my abilities which contains my authority to build the world. It was like... It was a grandmaster chess player. I desperately tried to fight back so I wouldn't have to com so so it wouldn't have complete control. But even so, a portion of the world has been modified at its, con in at its convenience. 
She's probably talking about Monokuma Rock in the Funhouse. Based on what she's saying, it sounds like she's on the receiving end of a one-sided attack. But Alter Ego should be an impressive artificial intelligence that the Future Foundation created. Hmm. I could tell that just by communicating with her, which means this, supposed, this supposed virus is so smart that it surpassed this Alter Ego. If so, does that virus possess an artificial intelligence just like her? Damn it, what the heck? Artificial intelligence waging attack against another one. That's so freaking irritating. But how did that virus infect the Neo World program? The Neo World program exists in isolation. It's impossible it was infected through a network. And I'm fairly certain someone physically uploaded it. Physically? Perhaps someone secretly brought an external memory drive containing the virus into the facility and directly uploaded the main computer where the Neo World program is installed. Phew. Based on my calculations, that's most likely what happened. It was brought to the Future Foundation's facility, but the only person who could enter that facility is someone who was a member of the Future Foundation. Damn it, what am I thinking? Why am I assuming that that's what I just heard is the truth? Why am I assuming that everything's a lie? Observers. New World Program. It's true the virus is powerful and that it's completely I'm completely overwhelmed by it, but I'm still able to defend the essential areas, so it has a limit too. Limit. If it took an observer, then it has to follow the rules of an observer. Such as, in order to end the program and release everyone, I need to follow the correct procedure and... Hey! Come on Whew. now! That's a lot to read. I mean, just, just dumping it on my face. <sighs> Okay, even if you're just a god in the machine, that's enough hits from you. You're gonna say something, if you're gonna say something more, you're su suppose that you exist between life and death, and death of yourself is inevitable, so it, uh, whatever. <sighs> He's freaking out too. Wow. Death, 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 death. Hey. Death, 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 death. Just happened. You're right there, aren't you? Someone is right there, right? Huh? Who are you? Are you different from the earlier one? Hey, maybe he can't hear my voice from this side. I'm currently talking to the world through Alter Ego. Makoto, is that you? Ever since you guys bashed into that space, the video feedback has been pretty disoriented. But even so, we were forced to watch you this entire time. Thing you guys were forced to do, you were, we were forced to watch it. Forced to watch us? I really wanted to save you right away, but because of the virus interference, I couldn't. Orders are no longer being accepted, including shutdown requests. The Neo World program is beyond our control now. In that world, that person created an independent country that doesn't accept outside interference. But Alter Ego created an opportunity for me to speak to you directly. If this means that's working, then it means that the person I need to talk to is right here, I hope. It looks like this guy can't even hear me or see me. Just who is this guy anyway? Is he our ally? We both have hair boners. He has a hair boner just like me. Since there's no time I'm going to say what I need to say and believe you're the li you were listening to me. First, I should apologize to everyone. If you don't have a lot of time, shut up and just say what you need to say. I know apologizing won't help, but we didn't imagine something like this would happen. We never expected such an atrocious virus was lurking inside the Neo World program. But that's entirely our fault. It's our responsibility for not realizing it until it's too late. But it's not just uh, uh, the virus either. I can't say for sure that the program didn't have any problems in the first place. But to tell you the truth, I was unsure about whether or not to run the program on you guys. But this was the only way to save you all. I wanted to save you guys. Save us? What do you want to save us from? Why would this save us? You've already seen the password in the graduation exam... The graduation exam ground, right? You know, 11037. It's the we found it in Nizumi Castle. 
The door to the ancient room was supposed to open after you all finished gathering the hope fragments. From there, you guys were supposed to challenge the graduation exam. However, I repaired the password just in case something went wrong. Aww. He remembers the password. Like I said earlier, I had my doubts that this program was perfect. Even if the chance was slim, I thought the observer might end up going rogue. That's the reason I left 11037 password in the place where the teacher role would not be able to go. I never thought Nagito, who saw it first, would erase that password. But wait, if that's not Makoto, then who is Nagito? Huh. I guess Nagito was just Nagito. He wasn't actually Makoto at all. Or maybe it's another trick! Who knows. Anyway, I'm also the person who set that password to that number. That number contains a secret? Someone close to me left that number to save me when I was in a dilemma. Can you understand what I'm trying to say? I'm entrusting that will to you all. I'm entrusting it to your future. But that person is trying to abuse the graduation exam. I'm sure they're going to crush you with despair using the graduation exam that's waiting for you. But I want you guys to endure it without giving up hope. I want you guys to withstand it until I get there. Because I have a secret to defeat them. Does that mean he has a secret plan to defeat Monokuma? In a worst case scenario, where an observer who has the role of a teacher goes rogue, I've prepared a hidden command to use at the graduation exam site. It's the forced shutdown sequence. Even a teacher's authority can't stop that command. It's a way to end this and get you guys to choose on your own independently of the observer. Which means even if they stole, your, stole the teacher's authority, they shouldn't be able to stop it. If you use that, you guys will win. However, in order to start the force shutdown sequence, you need more than half the number of people. And in order to do that, I need to somehow get that number. Kimo ya ba 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 death. <laughs> oh man. Say what? Who's that just now? Mm. Hey, Hajime! What was that weirdness just now? Nothing, really. Mm. I see. Anyway. Oh, well, anyway, this is all the hints you're gonna get. If it's no good, if that no good artificial intelligence tells you any more useless stuff, <laughs> I'm gonna butt in again. <laughs> Did Monokuma not notice what just happened? It's been a while since I've spoken at length, but it was important to talk to you. It was worth waiting a long time here. Hey, about that guy just now. There shouldn't be anything else for you to ask me. Let's see, it'd be bad if Monokuma overheard us. That means Monokuma doesn't know about the conversation I have with that guy just now. You guys have a weapon, a very powerful weapon. It all depends on how you guys use that weapon. The only thing I can do is prevent the virus's invasion with all my might so you guys can use that weapon. The rest is up to you all. Do your best. Do our best, huh? Well, what do we have to do our best at? The mystery is getting solved. I'm finally starting to see the truth. And we're going to pause right here. I'm sure this is enough for an episode. It had to be, right? We've been sitting here forever. Thank you very much for watching. See you guys in the next episode. Till then, stay toasty, my friends.